So, Radisic, can he hold on to his lead this time? Some good work as he goes over the kerbs there. It really is going to be a case of which car handles the kerbs best round Monza. It's going to be the key to winning this race in these damp, slippery conditions. Radisic away in the Ford. Then comes the Peugeot of Dalmas. Larini's in there, so too is Cudini. That top four just breaking away now from the rest of the field. And Radisic himself starting to open the gap between first and second. We've got a major dispute though over second place. Dalmas and Larini in the Alfa Romeo really squirming under braking but taking second place. Radisic looked very conservative through the chicane that time. Larini, on the other hand, really attacked it. Larini now up into second place. Dalmas looking to start fighting back, looking for gaps down the inside. And Radisic can look in his mirrors and be quite content that second, third and fourth, and indeed now fifth and sixth, they're all closing up because that will give him a real opportunity. As Dalmas loses third place now. So he's gone back a slot. Cudini up into third. So, the race order. Radisic in first place. Then comes the Alpha of Lorini. Then it's Cadini for France. And then Dalmas for France in the lead Peugeot. It's a whole mixture of manufacturers. It just shows how evenly matched all these cars are in the Touring Car Championship. And a thrilling start to this first ever Touring Car Challenge at Monza. Belmondo in trouble. Belmondo sliding off and hitting the barriers. It's going to be very difficult for him to get going again from there. Well, he's managed it. The air conditioning inside the car will be slightly altered as a result of that flapping door, but nevertheless, he's still going. Well done, Paul Belmondo. Now, here's a tremendous scrap for fourth place between John Cleland in the Vauxhall on the left and Alessandro Nanini in the Alfa on the right. Nanini just nosing ahead as they go over the start and finish line. Six gear, about 150 miles an hour. Cleland fighting back at him. And this is going to be very, very tight indeed. Did they actually touch? I don't think they did. They got enormously close, incredibly close. Hair's breadth between them. Nanini goes up into fourth. Pit board out there for Radisic. Five laps of the 15 to go, and that was the gap between him and the rest of the field. It doesn't actually look as much as that. It looks even less now as 35 Larini goes skating over the curbs and over the gravel. 37 going through is Nanini, followed closely by Cleland. So somewhere, Cudini flashed through as well as we look at Radisic. Coming down in first place, here's Cadini and Larini. That's a dispute over second, and cadini has got it. Going into the right-hander, went past the Alpha, and Larini seemingly just starting to struggle there and losing second place. Larini in third as Radisic comes up to the chequered flag to win. Brilliant performance by him. Cadini in second place, Larini third. Cleland takes fourth from Nanini and Dalmas in sixth place.